welcome back my dear students this is mahua sultana aki senior lecturer of milestone college department of biology my today's lecture is on cell division this is from chapter 3 of your biology book okay from my today's lecture you will learn the definitions of cell division mitosis meiosis karyokinesis cytokinesis chromosome, spindle apparatus, spindle fiber, equator, traction fiber, tumor, and interkinesis. Okay, you will also able to learn why mitosis is called equational cell division, why meiosis is called reductional cell division, um, and different steps of mitosis cell division. From where you will be able to explain prophase, Prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Cell division. The process through which a mother cell divides to produce two or more cells is known as cell division. Cell division is mainly two types, mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis. The process of cell division in which the nucleus and the chromosome of a cell divides only once to produce two daughter cell, where the number of chromosome and other characteristics remain as light as the mother cell is known as mitosis cell division. Mitosis cell division takes place in animals, higher animals and plants. It also takes place in the lower organism during their asexual cell division. Moreover, it also takes place in the growing parts of plants such as Mesmeric part, apical part, or the apex of the roots and shoots, primal and radical, and other mesmeric part. Okay? Now, mitosis, meiosis cell division. The process of the cell division in which the nucleus divides twice, but the chromosome divides only once, and produces four daughter cells, where the number of chromosome in the daughter cell become half, then that of the mother cell is called meiosis cell division. Now, mitosis cell division, it is also known as equational cell division. It is also known as equational. Why mitosis is known as equational cell division? As I have told you earlier, that during mitosis cell division, the nucleus and the chromosome of the mother cell divides only once and produce two daughter cells, where the characteristics of the daughter cells remain same as the mother cell. That is why the, it is known as equation of solution. So, when you will get a question, you know, why mitosis is known as Equational cell division, you will first define the mitosis cell division or write down the definition of mitosis cell division. In the second para, you will write, hence, during mitosis cell division, the nucleus and the chromosome divides only once and the other characteristics uh, of the uh, daughter cells remain as like as the mother cell. That is why mitosis is known as equational cell division. Or you can only write, Hence, the characteristics of the daughter cell remain same as like as the mother cell during mitosis cell division. That is why it is known as equation of cell division. Now, meiosis cell division. What is meiosis cell division? The process of cell division in which the nucleus divides twice, but the chromosome uh, divides once is known as meiosis. In this case, the number of the chromosome become half than that of the mother cell. For example, if the mother cell has four chromosomes, during meiosis cell division, it will produce four daughter cells. Okay? Where the number of chromosomes become half. In each of the daughter cell. Here it was 4 and here it is 2 in this cell. Now, the question with the meiosis is also known as reductional cell division. Reductional 
cell division. Why it is known as reduction of? Hence, during meiosis cell division, the number of chromosomes in the daughter cell become half than that of the mother cell. That is why meiosis is known as reduction of cell division. So, you can uh, answer the, uh, write the answer of meiosis cell division. Why it is known as reduction of? First, you will write down the definition and later you will write in the second para, hence the number of chromosomes in the uh, meiosis cell division or during meiosis cell division in the daughter cell become half than that of the mother cell. That is why it is known as reductional cell division. Types of mitosis cell division. Mitosis cell division is a continuous process. In this case, karyokinesis is followed by the cytokinesis. Now, what is karyokinesis? The division of nucleus is called karyokinesis, and the division of cytoplasm is known as cytokinesis. So here first the karyokinesis takes place, later the cytokinesis takes place. Okay. Before starting a cell division, a cell has to prepare itself. This stage is known as interface. During this stage, a cell takes preparation for cell division. Now the steps of mitosis cell division, it has five steps. Prophase, Prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Prophase. This is the first step of mitosis cell division. During this stage, the nucleus becomes a little larger. Chromatin fibers start condensing into short, thick, tightly coiled structure called chromosome. So, if the question is what is chromosome, you can write during prophase or mitosis cell division due, uh, due to condensation the, chrom or the chromatin fibers starts to become short thick and tightly coiled structure that is called chromosome so what happened next chromosome are visible under compound microscope why because they become shorter and thicker though chromosome divides into two sister chromatids at this stage at the centromere, they remain attached. As the chromosome are still tangled, that is why it becomes so difficult to count the number of chromosomes. Now, I am drawing the diagram of this phase or step. Okay, you can follow my diagram so that you can easily draw the diagram. Okay, first of all, you will draw a square shape almost a rectangular shape okay hence it is a pencil that is why we are drawing the cell wall and now with a pencil compass you will draw the nucleus inside the nucleus you will draw the chromosomes Okay, this is the cell wall and this is the nuclear membrane, this is the nucleolus and these are the chromosome. Now you will label the diagram. Cell wall, cell membrane, nuclear membrane. chromosome nucleus okay so I've told you that the nucleus become little larger the chromatin fiber starts condensing the chromosomes are visible under microscope and though the chromosome this is the chromosome it becomes or it divides and produces two sister chromatids. This is one and this is number two. 
two sister chromatids but they remain attached at centromere this is the centromere okay at the end of this stage hence they remain tangled that is why it become difficult it becomes difficult to count the number of chromosomes chromatophase at first we will draw the diagram students you can follow me to draw the diagram we are drawing the diagram in a pencil so at first we will draw a rectangular shape as like before now the inner part at first you will draw a circle you can erase some portion of the circle so that it means or it appears that the nuclear membrane is disappearing okay now through the center you will draw a single line and on the both side of this line you will draw three you will uh, give two three doors okay at same distance so that you can draw the spindle apparatus Okay, now we are drawing the chromosomes. In case of drawing the chromosome, you can leave a spindle fiber one after another. Okay, so in, uh, that means if you draw the chromosome in the first spindle fiber, then you will leave the next one, and in the next uh, after that one, you can draw another chromosome. Then you will leave another spindle fiber. Okay, now you will label the diagram. This is the pole. This appearing nuclear membrane. This appearing nuclear membrane. This appearing nucleolus. Lus. Then the chromosome now the description of this step at this step the spindle apparatus with two poles are developed in pencils from the fiber protein these are two poles one pole and this is the another pole okay so at the beginning of this stage two poles are developed in case of plant cell from the fiber protein next the middle part or the middle plane of the spindle this is the spindle apparatus the middle plane is called the equator this is the middle plane okay now the fibers of the spindle apparatus made of microtubules of cytoskeleton are stretches from one pole to another pole these are called a spindle fiber so the spindle fibers collectively called spindle apparatus clear then kinetochores which are the protein structures these are assembled on the centromere this is the centromere you know on the centromere the kinetochores the, the protein are assembled and which helps to remain attached the chromosome with the spindle fiber. That means the chiritopores are protein structures assembled on centromere which link the centromeres with spindle fibers. These spindle fibers which remain attached with the chromosome or the centromere of the chromosome are called traction fiber. These are also known as 
chromosomal fiber. Why these are known as chromosomal fiber? Because here they remain attached with the chromosome. So the another name of the traction fiber is known as chromosomal fiber. Okay. Then the nuclear membrane uh, and the nucleolus at the end of these stages starts to disintegrate and disappear. Chromosome in this stage starts to assemble at the equatorial plane. In case of animal cell, the spindle fibers uh, produces from the centriole and the centriole remain at two opposite poles. In case of animal cell, the centriole remain, once the two centriole remain at two opposite poles, okay? And from there, the spread sterile rays, okay? Now, metaphase. First, we will draw the diagram again. At first, you will draw a single line. At the middle plane of this line, you will again give three dots. Here, you will put three dots. Then, with the help of a scale, you can draw like this. Okay, then you will draw the chromosomes, but the chromosome will at the equatorial plane, that means at the middle of this diagram. This is the pole, this is spindle apparatus, one of these spindle apparatus is spindle fiber. Equatorial plane. Or region chromosome. Okay, this is metaphase. Now the description. At this stage, all the chromosomes assemble at the equator from the two poles. In prometaphase. The chromosomes were scatteredly arranged, but in this stage, the all the chromosomes will be aligned at the equator plane from two poles. Okay, then the centromere of each chromosome remain on the equator, but the two arms remain at two opposite poles or towards two opposite poles or take position towards two opposite poles. Then, at this stage, the chromosome become shorter, most thick and short. That means shortest and thickest. Then, the attraction between the chromosomes or chromatids decline. These are the sister chromosomes or chromatids. The attraction between these sister chromatids declines and the repulsion in between them increases. At the end of this stage, the division of the centromere starts. This is the centromere and the division in the centromere starts at the end of this stage. And the nuclear membrane and nucleolus completely disappear at this stage. Okay? This is anapus. Okay? Again, we will draw the diagram first, okay? Like the other diagrams, you will first draw a straight line at the middle. Then you will give, put three dots on the either side of the straight line, okay? Then we will draw 
a line and then a dotted line. Again a straight line, a line, curved line and then a dotted line. So the middle one will be dotted. Here will be, will be a continuous line and a dotted line, a continuous line and a dotted line. Okay, this is the pole. Hence, I told you earlier that the repulsion in between the centromere stars and the cleavage of the centromere takes place. Okay, so the centromere at this stage along with the chromatids they become divided The dotted spindle apparatus or fibers starts to disappear. This dotted line indicates that the spindle fibers are disappearing. Okay, these are the dotted chromosome. This is another stress. Now, the description of this step. At this stage, each, each chromosome divides into two sister chromatids. The chromosome is divided and paired with two daughter chromosomes or two chromatids. And they are pulled apart. That means they are going to do opposite poles. The cleaved centromere moved to the pole while the chromatid trail behind. This is the centromere and these are the arms or trails. These remain behind and the centromere remains ahead. Each chromosome splitting into two moves to the opposite poles and so the number of chromosomes remain unchanged at two poles. What does it mean? It means that when the mother chromosome divided and is divided the mother chromosome is divided and goes to two opposite poles in each pole the number of chromosomes remain unchanged there were four chromosomes when these four chromosomes were, were split and divided into eight chromosomes four goes at one pole and other four go go to the opposite pole okay Thus, the number of chromosomes remain unchanged to two opposite poles. Now, on the basis of the position of the centromere, on the basis of the position of the centromere, the chromosomes look like V, L, J, and I shaped, which are called uh, metacentric, submetacentric, acrocentric, and telocentric chromosomes on the basis of the position of the centromere. That means if the centromere remain at the middle, it will look like V. This is metacentric. If it, the centromere remain a little bit aside, that will look like L. It is known as submetacentric. And if the chromosome, the central, sorry, central is near, remain near the other, or at the end of the another arm or trail, it will look like J. And it's known as acrocentric. And if the centromere remain at the one end, it is known as 
telocentric, metacentric, submetacentric, acrocentric, and telocentric. Okay. At the end of these stages, the daughter chromosomes are completely pulled apart to the two poles. That means at the end of these stages, these are pulled at the this pole and these daughter chromosomes are pulled at this pole. Okay. Thus, the chromosome remain clustered into two opposite poles. Okay. This is telophase. This is the last stage of mitosis cell division. At first, we will draw the diagram. Okay. At first, you will draw a cell plate at the medial or the equation plane of the cell. The two nuclear membrane is drawn and now the nucleolus. These are the chromatin fibers. Spindle fibers which are becoming disintegrated and it will disappear. So, this is the nuclear embryo. Nucleolus. Chromatin fiber. Cell plate disappearing spindle fibers daughter nucleus. This is telophase. Okay, this is the last step of mitosis cell division and is a reversal of prophase. In these stages, the chromosomes become decondensed and surrounded by new nuclei. That means new nuclei are, is, are formed. Okay, they elongate it back. They, that means the chromosomes be elongated back into thin and long structure called chromatin fiber as it was during prophase. Nuclear membrane reappears. This is the nuclear membrane and it reappears around the nuclear reticulum. These are the nuclear reticulum and two nuclei are formed in the two poles. One nucleus and another nucleus. Here there is two nucleus that is why it is known as Nuclei. The nucleolus also reappear. These are the nucleolus. The spindle apparatus. These are the spindle apparatus. This is spindle apparatus disintegrate and the spindle fibers are disappear. Okay? Appear. Cell plate is formed. This is the cell plate. This is the cell plate. This cell plate is uh, was formed at the equatorial plane. This cell plate is formed at the equatorial plane. It is formed by the aggregation of some small pairs of endoplasmic reticulum. At this plane, the cell will divide into two pairs. Equal distribution of the cytoplasmic organelle is accomplished. In the cell, there are some cytoplasmic organelles such as mitochondria, chloroplast and other cell organelles which will be distributed equally in two, two cells, okay? As a result, two identical daughter cells are produced. After that, the cell become, is divided into two pairs and two identical daughter cells are produced. In case of an animal cell, a contractile 
ring is developed on the cell membrane with pieces of the two nuclei okay this is the last step of mitosis solution these all are the five steps prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase okay dear students now i will discuss two terms that is tumor and cancer all of you are familiar with these two terms mitosis is a continuous process and tumor and cancer are the results of uncontrolled cell division if the cell control of the cell division it become uncontrolled then it results tumor and cancer through mitosis cell division two cells is produced from a mother cell and from these two cells four cells are produced thus it is a continuous process if the control is lost then it results the formation of tumor formation of cancer is also the results of an uncontrolled cell division why cancer occurs it may occur for various reasons for example various types of germs chemicals or radioactive activity which are responsible for cancer formation what happens in that case or in case of formation of tumor or cancer there are two genes one is e6 another one is e7 of papilloma virus these two genes produces a chemical substance that displaces the two protein molecules which control the cell division of living organism this cell division when become uncontrolled due to the effect of these two genes then it results tumor or cancer sometimes these two genes e6 and e7 amalgamate with those hosts of those of host cells and stop the function of the protein molecules that control the increase of the cells this cancer can develop in almost all the parts or organs of human body such as liver lungs brain breast skin or uterus so that's all from cancer and tumor dear students these are all for today i will come back with a new lesson as soon as possible till then take care and have a good day